right, so first thing we do here is with the Cricut, we're going to cut it out from the Cricut. Then we're going to weed out and have a negative. I'm just using a little picking tool of taking out all the words, and the lettering, in order to have a blank negative, which I will put on the mug. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the backing paper on it, transfer paper. I'm going to cut it up, smooth it all out. Okay, next thing I do is you clean your, your mugs really well. You peel the, the sticker off, place it on your mug, rub it in nice and neat. Once it's on there, you peel it off and you have your negative. Next thing you're going to want to do is tape it up because the sandblasting will get really messy. So make sure you're sandblasting. All right, so I got mugs my mugs really nice. here. They're all set, they're taped. What we're going to do is we're going to stick them through the sandblaster. I did one glass mug as well so you guys can see that. Four nice little coffee thermoses and then a beer mug. We'll go ahead and Put them in the sandblaster. So I just got a normal sandblaster. It was a hundred dollars on the Facebook Marketplace, so it's not. And it came with a compressor too. So a little sandblasting cabinet. Uh, not really little. It's fairly big. But we'll go ahead and we'll hyperlapse some shooting of it. There's the entrance little air compressor there. This one needs to be replaced with a bigger one. The CFM isn't quite high enough or CFI, whatever. It needs to be a little higher on that. So we're going to do one at some point. But yeah, go ahead and blast these. So when you're sandblasting, you really want to make sure you get right on it. If you go at an angle, you'll peel up the plastic and you also don't want to do it too much. It's just a little bit's going to, going to work. Um, really low pressure. You can see it kind of haze out and that's really all you need to do. You don't want to go over it too much because you'll start taking out all the details. The, uh, the plastic will pop off and then your whole mug is ruined. All right, so the hardest part I found about all of this is being, is taking this plastic off. What I find works best is bringing it inside and heating it up in some hot water and it peels, peels off nicely when you take all your tape off. Try to rip, you can kind of see, see it form there. You can kind of be rough with the glass, but stainless mugs can come off. This is removable vinyl. I don't know what it is about the sandblasting, but I believe it some with the static electricity just makes it stick on there like a son of a gun. You can also use a heat gun, but what I find is just some good old hot water soaking it and peeling it off. So that's pretty much it. We'll, we'll peel these off and I'll show you guys the finished product. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Here you have a cricket machine, you can a sandblaster, you can etch mugs all day long. So there we have it. Nice etched glass. Kind of light in here, but nice. etched little thermos. And there you have it. Nice and simple, just a lot of work.